in mindfulness or or in 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 spiritual teachings or or um really any teachings that try to help us understand our emotions and and thoughts uh the term ego is used and it's not and i don't use the term ego to mean you know i think i'm better than everybody or an arrogance which of course is a form of ego but it can be so many things and it can be insidious in its sort of deceptiveness just watching and understanding and noticing when you've got sort of an ego generated thought is so powerful it's the key to kind of operating more mindfully which is tapping into your inner wisdom and clarity and calm is just noticing what that isn't noticing what the ego is doing it could be it could be judgments it could be uh preferences it could be frustration resentment jealousy it could be feeling inferior it could be feeling superior it could be that sort of dance where someone thinks you're inferior but you think you're not and you're kind of trying to sort of impress uh people uh um it's it's so many different things um that all are sort of in that vein and just understanding that and watching that and realizing that that's not something you can control that's normal human behavior but there's a way to sort of tap into something more more uh, deeper more powerful that wisdom clarity and calm that's inside uh, in order to help you perform uh, in your job and in your relationships and your confidence this is where that inner wisdom um, really plays and the key to tapping into that is noticing the ego and what isn't that inner wisdom and noticing that you're noticing it 